Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be figuring out what happens if Arthur visits the doctor after he already has tuberculosis. Now, I'm not talking about the doctor that you actually go to when Arthur collapses at the end of chapter 5 or the beginning of chapter 6. That's the doctor that like diagnoses him. It's also the doctor that you bring the guy who has to get his arm amputated to. We've covered that in previous videos. In today's video, I'm talking about the doctor that can be found in Rhodes. And in case you guys have no idea who that is, that is actually Dr. Alphonse Renaud. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. But basically, he gives you a quest that becomes available in Chapter 3. And that quest is called No Good Deed. Now, I've actually covered this mission before on the channel because this doctor gives you one of the best items in the game. However, when this became available to me in Chapter 3, I wanted to do it instantly. But it turns out there is a secret ending that if you do this mission after Arthur gets tuberculosis during Chapter 6. And I wanted to figure out what that was. So regardless of if you start in Chapter 3 or in Chapter 6, you will find Dr. Alphonse Renaud sitting in front of the gate of the Grey Woolen Mill in Rhodes. And when you greet him, this is what happens. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all, big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. Well, that ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. <laughs> yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. So basically, the doctor states that his wagon and his medical supplies were stolen by a gang. And you have to go to Macomb's End, where Arthur will fight about six thugs and attempt to get his wagon back. And Arthur will have some conversations with the guys you meet at Macomb's End as well. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit. I'm taking this. Ah! Where you got the way? Huh? Damn, up the immigrants seen you, huh? He ain't getting his wagon back. If you done, boys. I'll go. Okay, come on. Get you back to the dock. Coach incoming. Focus your fire. Just leave him alone, won't you? The hell you. What the hell you want with this thing? That all of you? Shit. 
Okay, so by now you've got the wagon back. It's actually a pretty simple mission. I'm a little bit surprised that there wasn't more to this mission than what Rockstar included, especially for being a stranger one. But regardless, once you get the wagon back, you need to return to Rhodes to give the wagon to Dr. Alphonse Renaud. Now what I'm gonna do right now is show you guys what happens if you complete this quest during either chapter three or four. And then after that, I'll show you guys what happens if you complete the mission during chapter six. So let's start with the first encounter right here. Ah, uh, you know this fella, don't you? Oh my. <laughs> Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. So the line I want you guys to pay attention to there, I hope you caught, was at the very end. Uh, doctor says it won't work for anything chronic, uh, dot, 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 but you may not need it to. So... I don't know if that was a foreshadowing line that was supposed to happen to Arthur by the end of the game. But anyways, let's now take a look at the encounter that happens if you do this in Chapter 6. Ah, uh, you know this fella, don't you? Oh, my. <laughs> look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I just wish I could help with your more pressing ailment. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. So that's interesting. This doctor actually mentions Arthur's tuberculosis. He said, I just wish I could help you with your more pressing ailment, obviously referring to his sickness. And then the doctor ends up riding away. So that's pretty cool that after Arthur gets tuberculosis, it changes the dialogue that he has with this character. That is awesome. Now afterwards, I wanted to sort of follow the doctor to see where he would actually go and to also see if we could talk to him. Sometimes you'll be able to talk and interact with the strangers after their mission is ended for some more lines of dialogue. So what I ended up doing was following him, but I didn't have the option to. The only thing I could do is like look at him and then draw my weapon, but I didn't want to do that. So what I did after that is actually just jump to his wagon. I wanted to see where this doctor was ultimately going to go. So what I did is I just got on his wagon and I followed him until he basically just kept going into Saint Denis. Now what's interesting, and I don't know why the doctor decided to do this, but before we reached the train crossing in Saint Denis, he for whatever reason just got out. Like this was so weird. He just got out, left his wagon, and he started walking a completely random direction. And I never saw him after that. So why the doctor decided to do that, I'm not too sure. Maybe Rockstar only programmed him to go a certain distance, uh, and that was it, and then he would just wander and walk away. But anyways, getting back to the main point of this video, it's so cool to see some different and unique lines of dialogue, and it makes me wonder if there are any others like that in the game. 
So if you know of any other instances where missions or lines of dialogue or outcomes are altered because Arthur has tuberculosis in chapter six, you can let me know in the comments down below or better yet, reach out to me on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. And maybe we can find some more moments like this where, uh, you know, lines of dialogue and things are altered based off of Arthur's sickness level. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.